All right, hey everyone. So uh, this is a a fun piece I did for um, a challenge, a design character design challenge, on uh, Facebook. Uh, I'll I'll put a link in the description um, later, so you can have a look at what this was about. This was for uh, yeah, the challenge for was, was for January, so uh, the competition is over already. But uh, there you go. I only heard about it at the last minute. Uh, so I had to to make this drawing pretty quickly. I mean, I, I did it over three hours, but it's probably just an hour and a half of of actually uh, sitting and drawing this uh, this thing. I I love roller skating myself, and seeing uh, that the theme this time was roller derby, I was like, great, I'm gonna have fun with this. Uh, this sounds like fun. I just wanna just wanna do something simple and quick. So. I didn't want to spend too much time, so I knew already when I started that I wanted to have a, a simple style, uh, yeah, something quite graphic, uh, strong, dynamic, uh, not necessarily my usual style. Uh, the, the lines will be the same as usual, but it's, it's more the colouring. Uh, the colouring style will be a bit quite different. I was going to go for something black and white with just one touch of colour, uh, which you will see will be red. So here you go. I'm I'm sketching out the position here. So yeah, like I said, I I, I love to do rollerblading, and so I I could get the feeling of the, the 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 gesture, the the dynamic of this of this sport, and and I was like, okay, I think I can feel it in my bones. I'm gonna try to get the attitude right. Uh, so that's why I actually started this time. You might have noticed started with the front leg instead of starting with the face or something or the body maybe. Uh, I just started with leg because I guess that's where everything happens. Um, I did that instinctively, but you know that's where has, it's all about how you place your feet uh, to, to get the right the power in your in your movement to get to get the dynamic. So in this position, she's uh, she's uh, she's going around the curve. So the idea was to that she had the back leg just lifting lifting off the at the end of the movement. She was just taking off the floor. While the front leg is is taking the all the weight of the character, she's you know she's got all her weight is on the front leg. Her body is actually leaning so far forward that it's pretty much horizontal, and her leg at the back is really far. So she's swinging her arms to help her movement. Although really, to be fair, in in that kind of movement, the arms are not necessarily they don't necessarily need to move that much. It's not like uh, she's running. If she were running, it you would need the arms to, to swing back and forth but when you're rollerblading the movements are quite different so in the end the arms are made, will play a different role anyway uh, I still went for like uh, this sort of extreme position there um, I'm a big fan of those kind of outfits that they've got it's very uh, gladiator like and I guess the whole sport is pretty much uh, uh, in that scheme so yeah, it's, it's great fun. I don't know if you know about um, this manga called... Um, it's got different names. It's called Gunem. It's called Battle Angel Alita or something else. The main character could be called Alita or it could be called... She could be called... What, was, what is it? Uh, I'm trying to remember. Gali. Gali, that's it. Her name could be Gali. Uh, she has different names. Anyway. Uh, it's it's a very cool manga. If you've never heard of it, check it out. It's it's absolutely awesome. Very violent though. But there's a uh, there's a whole section in in the in this manga where the main character was a, was a little girl and she, she 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 plays that game. It's it's a sort of a deadly rollerball kind of game. Yes. Uh, yeah, it's cool. Anyway, so here I just um, I'm out starting to add some details because I've, I've sketched out the shape I'm happy with the shape so now I'm adding some details and you can see uh, my usual style coming up I love those helmets as well those skaters helmets they're, they're awesome just there's something about that simple shape that they have and those little holes that they have and things like that it just looks so cool um, so yeah I'm trying to to recreate the same it's the same shape <clears throat> she's got in this particular case she's got Padded shoulders, which is not, I don't think it's necessary. It's nothing is, uh, it has to, they have to have padded shoulders. They have to have protections for their hands, their knees, their elbows, the head. But I'm not, I don't think they need anything for the shoulders. But in this case, I thought it would be cool to make it look even more, uh, even more aggressive. Um, so, yeah, I guess that, 
because I drew this pretty quick, uh, at least the speed of this is not too fast, so you can actually see the stroke pretty well, which is nice. Um, I wanted the camera to be very, very low, very close to the ground. So you have, you've got the perspective is, is she's like, like leaning forward so much, her elbow could practically touch the ground. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's just trying to force the perspective to make it more interesting, more dynamic. Well, see what I'm doing here. I'm, I'm filling in after I've done the sketch. I'm just filling in with black, but it's actually not black. It's white, and I used uh, I made the mode of this brush. Uh, the mode of this brush is different. So if you paint with white over this, it kind of goes makes everything negative. So it turns the whites and blacks and blacks and whites. It's it's a quick way of. of changing so as you can see I'm, I'm really going for black and white look here just no practically no values of gray um, I, I when I did this I realized that the holes were certainly white the holes in the in the helmet and, and the protections I thought oh well I'll keep it that way because I still want to see those holes I just call it the graphic so normally there should be black on black I suppose but I was like nah I'll keep them I'll keep them white they still look nice um, so here I am trying to draw these um, uh, these skates. I gotta say uh, I'm not being too realistic. There. I'm just uh, I've actually distorted them as you can see with an angle there, just to make it look more dynamic. Um, yeah, I don't do that usually, <laughs> but this, in this case I thought yeah, it'd be cool. I'll try this deformation. And anyway, that's, that's the idea. You should try different things sometimes just to get out of your habits. Uh, you go playing around the perspective, trying to get that uh, thing working a bit better. It's always good to just flip that image around and look it, or look at it in the mirror. When I used to sketch on paper, I still do sometimes, but because you can't just flip your paper around, you I just get up and I look at it in a in a mirror or something, and you, you can see things problems pop out suddenly. So oh, this perspective is wrong, or uh, these proportions are wrong. So then you go back to. Uh, to drawing and then you fix it, you try to fix it and then you put it back again against the, the mirror and see if it's better, if it's any better and if it is then, yeah, then it's cool uh, no, it's, it's wh why is it good to do that? it's because your your eyes just get used so much to the the way the lines look or wh which direction you took and it sort of gets used to it, it doesn't, doesn't see that the things are not working anymore so just putting in a in the mirror just makes it look fresh gives you a new fresh look on your own drawing and suddenly you can see if some, pro some things are problematic uh, as you can see here I'm, I'm also um, you see on the shoulders and the arms I made this I left this highlight here on the, on the hips as well uh, to try to suggest to yeah to show that there's some light in there oh, oh what I'm doing there is I'm separating the layers to try to uh, work the picture in different layers it's the background uh, the effect and the character uh, you know it's not necessary but um, it just helps so here I am redrawing those lines trying to find that curve to be fair in this position there she's turning towards the left which is normal because <laughs> I think that's how that's the way they go in that in that sport uh, but then at the end of it I turn it the other way around I think basically it's the wrong way around <laughs> uh, it doesn't really matter the, the whole idea was just to create a good feel. Uh, also to be fair it's design competition in this case so character design competition so it's all about the character and really to make this right I should have I should have drawn the character in a position where you can see uh, every part of the character I mean uh, at least you know more details uh, so that perspective is not really helping so <laughs> it's possible that just because of that I won't I want to have a chance to even get close to to winning the competition, but anyway, I'm I'm not hoping to win it anyway. There's too many people. I think there are like thousands of, I mean, definitely hundreds of, of submissions. Uh, I don't know if it's the, the topic or what that people loved, but it's true. When he came up, I was like roller derby. Oh, that's that's gonna be fun. Let's do something. Um, but I don't always have much time, so that's why I had to do something quick. And sometimes it's frustrating not to have enough time because you don't even have the time to think about something. But in this case, it was I don't know, came pretty right away to me. It's like, oh yeah, I'm going to do this. Uh, so I went ahead with it. 
so now I'm just added I made everything grey uh, so that I can then decide where some light could hit the character. Uh, I did this. I didn't know where I was going. To be fair, uh, I didn't know if I was going to what kind of style was whether it was going to be flat shaded or or um, soft shaded. Well, I started putting some white here and then just started look look at it, see what it looked like, uh, and then just played around with it. So I quite like the fact that uh, she's got this the the, the shadow over her eyes uh, cast by the the helmet. I think it makes her look. A bit more uh, menacing, a bit more aggressive. Um, I, I didn't know what to do with the background really, but also because of the competition, I knew I didn't need to work the background. It, it was probably going to play against me anyway, so I was like, I'm going to play the game and just not bother too much about the background and make something simple. Well, here I'm just adding some details to the face again. I, th I think you can see how this is going quite manga-ish. Uh, yeah. Uh, I guess it's because of um, that comic book that I mentioned, uh, Battle Angel Alita, because that's a Japanese comic and that's that's what I had in my mind when I was drawing this. Um, so here I am adding a bit of colour, so I thought I'll make something punchy and strong, just to add some red to the black and white, just have some like stock contrast and make it look as cool as possible, I don't know, I think that's cool. <laughs> So I just love these colors, and then here I am adding some effects for as if she she was um, burning that floor with her rollers. So I'm now tightening those lines a little bit more once I'm happy with the general gist of it. Uh, so you see, it's, it's very simple, and sometimes you know something could look nice even if it's very very simple. Um, I guess it's easy to get the perspective wrong with that kind of a picture, but because it's so extreme, you'd find that. It's uh, forgiving, actually. Uh, d you don't need to be too perfect in proportions and whatnot. It's all about the movement, about the dynamic of it all. So if, it, if proportions not quite right, nah, what the hell? It kind of, kind of works. So I, I didn't, I didn't try to make it perfectly. Uh, yeah, you know, just, uh, just looking good, looking good. Just push the push the perspective, make it look as as strong as you can. Uh, so what am I doing here? Just fixing some details. Uh, yeah, that's it. I think I think this hand that I draw, this four four hand that she has, uh, is probably not a really accurate glove. To be fair, when I drew this, I was like, oh, I'm not doing. I don't. I don't forget what it's like. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, but uh, but in the end, I think it looks nice. So I just kept it that way. I didn't. I, didn't use too many references. I just didn't want to. I wanted to just go along, give it a go. I did look, did watch um, some videos of Derby, or a Derby, to see see what it actually is like. Because to be fair, I haven't seen many, uh, but it it is bloody cool. It is really great. So I need to watch more of those stuff. Uh, I'm going to try to find some uh, some more videos to watch. It's, it's fun. Uh, I don't even know if if guys if there are male teams I'm sure there is but uh, it seems to be just a girl sport um, <laughs> I, I, I gotta say it's new to me uh, to some extent so uh, I need to find out about this so th what is this background I'm doing oh, you wonder I don't know I was just looking for something again just quite graphic that would complement the drawing and make the background a little bit less boring I had this idea of this line that looks a bit like a heartbeat you know, it's a sport, it's about pace and whatnot, and I thought it could make it even more, uh, yeah, it could work, it just could work. I think some highlights here and there, and I thought, oh, I'll try to add those lines, there's a bit of red and speed lines around, uh, and yeah, it just, just looks alright, so I'll keep that way. I was uh, I was trying to be as quick as possible again and trying to finish this quickly, so I'm, I'm close to finishing it. After that, I, uh, I've added some... Um, some more effects. Oh, there you go. I've added some more effects to it, and uh, just just some use grain and some gradients of colors, and that's it. So there you go. So if you want to see me do more of those, if you want to support the jo that you can uh, you can help me on Patreon, or you can get to Gumroad to get the files if you want to download them, like for just uh, one or two uh, dollars. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> there you go. Uh, thanks for your help.